Hi, I'm Jerry with theflyfishers.com and the Clouser Minnow is a super simple but super effective and extremely versatile fly fishing pattern. It works great in salt water as well as fresh water for species like trout, pike, muskies, and smallmouth bass like this one. Now here's how to tie the Clouser Minnow. The hook we're going to be using for this Clouser Minnow is the Gamakatsu B10S Stinger Hook in a size 4. This particular hook makes an excellent all-around freshwater streamer hook. Um, there's quite a few different variations on the Clouser Minnow, say some bonefish uh, shrimp style patterns just in different uh, browns and tans and things like that, um, as well as larger saltwater versions for stripers, snook, and even tarpon. In those cases you would want to use something like an 811S hook from TMCO, um, just because it's a saltwater safe hook. But in this case, we're tying a pattern that will be used in freshwater for smallmouth, largemouth bass, as well as maybe a few pike and hopefully a muskie. So, we're going to get started, just like any other fly pattern, by wrapping a little bit of thread along the hook shank there. Don't need too much as the majority of our work is done up here on the front of this fly. And today I'm using some white gel spun thread. It's a super strong thread that I like because I can really crank down on the lead eyes that we're going to be using. Alright, so our first step is going to be adding our lead eyes. In this case we're using just some size medium and red lead eyes. I'm going to start just by wrapping those on there a few times and you don't want to be super far forward just so we've got a little bit of room here to tie our bucktail in when we reach that point. As far as eye sizes go, the bigger they are the faster they'll sink obviously so kind of use those accordingly. In this case the medium obviously just kind of falls in between. So as far as wrapping our eyes on, I just like kind of getting them started, then doing a bunch of figure eights in different directions, like so, wrapping it one way there, then back another way, then just kind of doing a bunch of all arounds, like so. So the eyes will slip on you a little bit to begin with, but we're going to hit those with a little bit of glue after we wrap. So just kind of crank around and some thread on there and finish up. And I'm just going to take a little bit of head cement, in this case some hard as hull. I like using that because of the convenient little applicator brush. And it's just really good glue. So we're just going to hit that with the spot of glue on the top. So let's we'll kiss a little bit on the bottom there. And that's just going to hold our eyes in place so they do not slip around the hook. We're also tying the eyes on the top of the hook because our clouser minnow is going to ride in that direction and actually give it a little bit of a, a weedless and kind of hidden hook presentation. All right, now next we're going to take our first section of bucktail. In this case, it's going to be the lighter of our two colors. Today we're doing a purple and gray which is a great color for a lot of our Northwoods Clear Lakes as well as uh, sections of the Great Lakes like Green Bay and Chiguamigan Bay because it represents a lot of the um, emerald shiners and smelt that the smallmouth eat a lot of. So on top, which is going to be technically the bottom of our fly as we're fishing it, we're going to take our lightest color because that's how the bottom should be on a bait fish pattern and just start wrapping our thread and tying the bucktail down. Make that forward a little ways. And right now we've got that over the eye, so what we're going to do next is wrap underneath our eye so that we go behind it and then tie down 
that gray piece of bucktail. Just a few wraps, doesn't need to be too much. And bring it back to the front so we can work on our next step. And you'll notice I'm not using super thick chunks of bucktail as a nice sparse clouser minnow tends to work better than something that's very thickly tied and a lot of its profile is actually enhanced while it's in the water so it may seem like not much but it's kind of the less is more theory in this case with the clouser minnow. Alright now that we've got our bottom piece of bucktail tied in, our next step is going to be taking a little bit of our flash material, in this case on the Clouser Minnow, we're working with some crystal flash. And this color, I'm going to just be using the pearl. If you tie it in any other colorways, feel free to experiment with all different kinds of colors. Let's say we're tying something that's brown and tan, kind of representing a, a crayfish or a creek chub kind of a thing. Um, some copper crystal flash might be great. You don't necessarily always have to go with the pearl, but in this case, that's what we're going to be using. I'm just going to snip some of that off. And then just kind of slide that in there. Tie that above our bucktail. I'm just going to pop the hook out of the vise here and kind of bring that down so it's not going to be in our way. And then just reattach, reattach our hook there. And next we're going to take our top or darkest piece of bucktail, in this case again kind of our, our purple color, and we're going to lay that, kind of split it through the hook there so that it's even. And just bring the tips up to the front, but just far enough that we don't have a bunch of, bunch of mess here hanging over the, the eye of the hook, so it's nice and easy to tie on. And then just start wrapping, wrapping our thread nice and tight and forward. Kind of covering everything up and making it look nice and clean. Alright, so there. Once we've got that, again, I'm just going to pop our hook out for a second. Split that material down the hook and get that out of the way. And just like the bottom color, the quantity of our bucktail is going to follow the less is more philosophy with the clouser minnow. So as you can see, there's not a whole ton there. And after that, just pop a whip finish in. Two. And clip it off. Just to keep our clouser lasting longer, after all those frisky smallmouth eat it, we're just going to hit it with a little bit more of our hard as hull or whatever head cement you're using on the front there. Pop any straggler deer hairs out of there. Then let it dry, tie it on, and go catch a bunch of fish. <laughs>